Why is the sky blue? That's a really commonly asked question, of course. Now, to first understand that, we must know what white light is composed of. White light, if we pass it through a prism, we would find out that it's made of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, or violet, you could call it that. And now we must talk about what light itself is made of, a particle or a wave. So now, if we think about it as a wave, the distance between two of these hills is called the wavelength. So wavelength is really important in answering the question, why is the sky blue? So if we have red light, the wavelength is really long. Orange is a bit smaller. And we get all the way down to blue, it gets really, really small. And then violet or purple is the smallest. Now I must talk about our atmosphere and how light passes through it. Our atmosphere is all made of gas we have lots of gas particles. Now when light passes through our atmosphere, it hits these particles. Now with a longer wavelength, it scatters less. It goes sort of like in a straight line. But then when you get to like a shorter wavelength, like blue, it scatters. See that it like bounces all over the place? And violet scatters even more. So why, why you could see blue everywhere is because the blue light is scattering all over the place and into your eyes. Now there's another question that comes up. Why is the sunset red? So let's say we're on the right side of our planet. The inner ring is our planet, the outer ring is our atmosphere. We're on the right side. So let's say right now it's noontime, the sun's directly overhead us. Now the light comes down, right? And then we have the blue light that scatters all over the place and the red light just sort of just goes in a straight line. But then now we must think about at sunset. Sunset, it will be at the horizon. So right now it's at the horizon, right? So now we're going to compare sunset to noon. So you notice the white light, it's passing through our atmosphere. Now you can see the different distances. See the two distances that it has to pass through? So at noon, it passes through less atmosphere. And at sunset, it passes through more atmosphere. So at sunset, it's passing through more and more atmosphere. The blue is just scattered all over the place, and it doesn't even get to your eyes. But the red light doesn't scatter as much, so it just sort of just straightly comes to your eyes. And now another question comes up. Why isn't the sky violet? Well, that's because there's more blue light in white light than violet. There's more blue, so that's why you just see all the blue. And there's one more reason is that our eyes are just simply more sensitive to blue than violet. So that explains why the sky isn't violet. So thanks for watching and subscribe for more.